So the technology that I'm looking into a little bit more today is nanotechnology um, and how it's evolutionized and revolutionized the way that we live. Um, there's so many examples that I could dive into, um, but I kind of chose three that are more relevant to our day and age. Um, it is something that I feel like it will impact our, day, our way of life. Um, the first is using nanoparticles to help treat cancer patients. Um, essentially what this nanoparticle does is it gets injected into the immune system and it will go and find a specific cell called stink. And what this does is it activates these cells um, to produce more, re to strengthen your immune system. Um, so that's one of the big problems with cancer is that the, the cells are dormant. This is a way to try to wake them up. Another way um, that nanotechnology has improved is through, we could magnify our x-rays. Um, right now, our problem with our x-ray system um, is that what we do is we shoot rays through the body and they bounce back and we capture the light um, and see what's going on inside of us. Uh, the problem is on the other side, we haven't found a very efficient way um, to be able to um, t not take away from that energy. Um, but there is a nano composite that they're developing right now that's nearly 100% perfect energy transfer uh, between the back and the front, which will provide clearer pictures. Um, another way that this will be relevant um, is that you'll be able to see it in more places and security systems like airports, um, government institutions, and things like that. Um, and the last one, which I think is honestly fascinating, is that researchers have created a contamination um, patch that goes on the inside of milk cartons and other food things. And essentially what these does is they're uh, little tracers that are able to sense if there are any harmful pathogens in there. So essentially what it'll do is it'll be able to tell you in real time whether it's expired, whether there's something in each individual carton that is bad for you. Um, and pretty much how it works is that it the tracker is placed on the inside and it, the pathogens are attracted to it. So be able to sense that and then it'll, it'll trigger letting you know that there is bad things in, in the product itself. Um, it's really cool how we're able to do this. The goal of this um, is to make our food supply better, um, make sure it's more healthy and more appropriate for us. Um, but this can also, right now they're specializing in milk because it's a very complex um, organism. Um, but they're working on trying to be able to implement it in everything such as meat, um, anything that comes from a farm really, that they're trying to make sure that nothing harmful is in the food for us. But yeah, that's certain three ways and three breakthrough developments that happened within this past month um, that are going to help improve our way of life through the use of nanotechnology.